Hey there, I'm your host Lassoe, and in today's video I'll show you how to create a toggle between the first person camera and the third person camera. So let's begin. Open up your content drawer and find your character. For me it's going to be BP underscore Brady. Go inside and go to the viewport. Inside the viewport we want to select the camera, Control c Control v to copy paste. Select the first camera and we're going to rename this TPC for third person camera and camera one is going to be renamed FPC. Select FPC, drag it onto the character mesh, and inside here on the search bar, look for pawn. Use controller rotation true, and we're going to search for auto, and we're going to pick this false. Once you've done that, uh, go to the sockets, parent socket, and look for head. Select head, then reset rotation, reset location, and place the camera as you'd like it to see in the first person. So I'm going to rotate this. It lets me to 90 degrees like that, and then slightly tilt forward about there. And I'll just bring it forward about there. I think I'm happy. So compile and save, go to the event graph. And inside the event graph, we want to create an input action. So let's go to our folders, uh, go to input, go to your actions and create a new input action. I'm going to call it IA underscore toggle view. We can save that, and if we go to our IMC, we can create a new mapping, select our toggle view, and we can press a key that we want. I'm going to use a V, save this, exit, and once we're back in our event graph, we can look for it, which is here. From started, uh, we're going to get a flip-flop, and from here, I want to get my FPC and my TPC, and I'm going to say set active to be true and for the other one I'm going to have set active to be false then simply a goes here like so and this is going to go here and then all we want to do is uh, copy this and we're going to invert the selection so b is going to go here this is going to be false this is going to be true and at the very end search for yaw and it's going to give you set use controller rotation yaw this is going to be set to true. We can copy paste and this one's going to be set to false. So if we compile and save the game, if we exit out, we should be able to press V to change to our first person camera and our third person camera. So I hope the tutorial was easy to follow along. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.